Yo, what's going on boys? It's Shannon from Rockpout Sound and welcome to today's video. In this video, we're going to be recreating a hero bus sound. Now, this is one of his metallic -y robotic sounds that he uses in a lot of his songs. But anyway, this is what it sounds like. But anyways, yeah, really sick sound. And since it's such a sick sound, drop a like and drop a sub right now because Rocket Pilot Sound is the home of the best tutorials on YouTube right now. And if you don't click that subscribe button, then you're missing out. So go ahead and drop a like, drop a sub. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. And before we get started, you guys that um, are always nitpicking stuff, um, I am aware that Hero Bus does use Reason and Reason does not support third party plugins. Um, this is just kind of a recreation of his bass. You know, not really trying to use the same synth here. This is in Serum Buddy, okay? So to start us off, we're going to be using Oscillator A as a host for frequency modulation. And for that, we're really just going to be using a sine waveform. So we can just go ahead and click Analog BD Sine in the Analog selection. Um, sines are perfect for frequency modulation. If you watch my tutorials, you would know that, you know, they're just so smooth. You can run a lot of information off of them because there is so much to work with right here. But anyways, not much that we have to do here. We're just going to turn our frequency modulation from B. And we're just going to turn it up to about here. Here. so about 80% now the level we are going to um, we're gonna drop all the way down so we can throw on a low frequency oscillator number one and this is when we're gonna sh kind of shape our um, our amp ramp our amp ramp that rhymes but basically what's gonna be going on here is we're gonna just kind of make this shape here turn it on envelope and turn the rate to one fourth so we're also going to turn on the release that way it creates like a one shot effect so a one shot is like we hit the note and then boom it plays the whole thing right there so oops and it's only going to repeat it once it's not going to keep cycling through just because it's on envelope kind of perfect setting right there so oscillator b we're going to turn to a pwm aka pulse with modulated medicine hat now for this one we're going to turn up the octave two and then turn up the semitones seven now i've been doing this a lot lately now that i think of it but it is very very useful and it does get me thinking i think a lot of the pros are using this technique lately but um anyways we're going to listen drop that level and from here we're just going to turn on sync as well as just we're going to modulate the wave tilt position so and now sync turn it up to about 1.01 or 01.02 now we can turn on a uh, low frequency oscillator number two onto here and then just kind of have it go up like this and create a ramp like this have it go to one half trigger that until we get kind of like the tone that we're looking for and on top of that we could turn on a macro that way we do have a little bit more usability um, change up get a little variation going on here I like it at that note but anyways for the filter we're gonna turn on a flanger and flanger negative so basically this is going to cut out a lot of those access frequencies that we do not need um, just take a listen make sure we have the keyboard tracking turned on okay that's really all that <laughs> that we needed for that maybe turn that resonance so that does a nice job of really cleaning up the sound and from here all we're going to do is turn up the detune a little bit and then just drop the mix down just a tad bit turn down the size a lot so like two or three percent and then turn up the mix as well to about 30 okay okie dokie that sounded pretty good to me now for this one we're going to turn on the delay and this is really what's going to create the robotic selection of the sound frequency modulation is creating the metallic sound now this is what creates the robotic sound so we're going to turn on um, our feedback just to about halfway and then make sure it links on bpms off and we're just going to turn this down to about 28 and now just take a listen i've done this a lot in my tutorials 
that gets us that extra oomph. All right, that was really cringy. That extra, you know what I mean, that extra tone to the sound. And finally, we can finish her off with a reverb. However you want to model the reverb and then to the voicing, we could turn on mono legato and then just turn on the portamento to always. And that's literally all it takes. This can use some external EQing possibly. Maybe cut out that extra sub that we hear in here. So yeah, that's really all it takes to make this sound. And it's a really sick sound, don't get me wrong. But if you guys like this tutorial, drop a like, drop a sub if you haven't already. Do I have to remind you again? But anyways, everything on our site is 50% off, or at least one of our packs is. So if you guys want to check that out, I highly encourage you guys to because 50% off is like a blowout sale. So you're wasting your time if you haven't already clicked that buy button. But anyways, I'm Shane from Mockabout Sound, and I'm signing out.